Hey guys, it is Brido here, and welcome back to our XCOM Enemy Unknown walkthrough. In this episode, we're going to try and catch an alien once our arc thrower is ready, and uh, also continue doing our missions and whatnot. So, we'll start off with uh, going to mission control, because the arc thrower is not uh, set at this point. But that will be the next goal for us to uh, accomplish, so you can see there that just got completed the research. So, we'll go down and uh, start a new project in the meantime. Hmm... We'll do the nav computer for Amanda, now. I realize our troops have to put their own survival first, but every and alien we use explosives against is we'll one go down to engineering, to recover new artifacts. And we'll buy a couple arc throwers so we can start seeing if we can catch um, some aliens and whatnot. So the other thing as well, just to show that. Uh, in the Situation Room, you can see the, uh, the panic level. China is the highest panic level right now. Um, we can't really do anything about it because we don't have any more satellites to use. We need to build satellites, but we also need a satellite uplink to do that. And for the time being, we just don't have um, the, enough space. We need to excavate down there. We also need more engineers. So it's a little bit off at this point, but once we do get it, then we'll be able to... Uh, uh, get a couple satellites actually and th that time more around we'll put one maybe in Africa or Europe and then one in Asia to kind of spread the level out a little bit more you tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts for the time being like I said we'll go back to mission control see if we can pick up a mission while we're waiting actually we got our arc throwers in there so um yeah let's let's go down to the barracks first and then we'll we'll attach a couple of them and um yeah then we can we can see if we can uh capture an alien for ourselves. Hmm. If you're planning to bring so one give of him an arc thrower. Arc thrower and I will give Holly. Let's see. We'll give her a med kit because we just want to have a med kit just in case uh, when we're out there right now. Uh, because we don't want to run into an issue this early. We want to be able to save um, anybody if they do get injured. I'm not sure exactly how the med kits work. I'm not sure if they heal um, while you're injured or if you die and then they heal you from that point, but we'll, we'll find out for sure uh, in the near future because like I said it's going to probably get a little bit harder coming up and whatnot. Alright, so there's the alien containment center, so we got that built too, so we are prepared and ready to uh, bring our alien home. Um, Facility online. Let's go down to just the construction. You can see I'm excavating right here. Uh, so we'll have something there in the near future. But for the meantime, we can't really do anything else at this point. Excavation complete. In Commander, we're receiving a transmission. Right, we'll go to the situation room. Coming on screen. Alrighty, so we're going to go and help this person out. Hopefully, okay, yeah, it, it reduces, the, uh, sorry, reduces the panic in uh, China, which will definitely help us. So we'll take that mission in a heartbeat right now. Um, so let's see, we got Sonoka, we got Morden, we got Rohani, and Kex is good to go. I think that's probably our best squad at this point. I'll see if um, it, she's got the uh, arc laser, so probably want to keep her in there but I'll just check to see if Woodley's ready to go back I think she's still injured yeah she's still out so we'll keep her out and we'll go with two heavies for this mission a little bit um, on the high side but one of the positives as well is that when you start doing missions like this too that you uh, get rewards with uh, actual um, units and whatnot and these units come in at a higher level than just like a below a squatty so um, it's definitely gonna help in the future when we start getting those I mean, you know, these guys are going to get really good. We don't want them to die. We don't want that drop off as well between the other guys uh, in that kind of level where, where you know, someone dies and then we're like, oh, well, we don't have anybody else to use right now unless we use someone that's really inexperienced because, like I said, the missions are going to continue to get tougher and tougher and we need to be on our best game and also have the best units possible to make it happen. To so. Okay. Hmm. Looks like an interesting mission. Similar to the one that we did before. It's an extraction point mission. 
but a new locale, so that's kind of interesting as well. It'll be interesting if we actually go inside there. Uh, but yeah, I gotta keep in mind too that we're gonna try and capture an alien. I've yet to do it though, so uh, bear in mind if I'm not able to capture an alien this episode, I've heard it's quite hard to do. I actually tried to look it up. I know I'm doing a walkthrough, but I wanted to see for sure before actually doing it myself what you're supposed to do. And I wasn't able to pull it up, so we'll see definitely uh, what we can do for this here. Let's see if Thomas we can Hutch, grab ourselves one. The council, was riding in the limo at the bottom of those steps when it was hit by an alien ambush. We need you to find Mr. Hutch, make sure he's safe, and get him safely back to the Sky Ranger. New objective received. Okay. She can get up to there. We'll leave him here, though. Kind of a cool map, though. I like it. Roger that. <clears throat> mm, we'll spread out that way. Moving to designated position. Got something over here. Oh, there we got some activity. Thin man. Hmm. Heading to that location. Oh, I hate the poison. Oh. Hopefully it goes away. Um Yeah, if you walk into those thin man clouds you will get poisoned. Not something you want to have happen. Hey, really use a hand with these things. Let's see if we can take him out first. 48% shot. We'll take the chance. Pretty good one. Ah, oh, it's a miss though. Missed the target. Hmm. Have to move out of there, unfortunately. Maybe if I jump up there. Got it. Moving. Oh, that's too far, unfortunately. Thought you might be able to hop up, but you can't. Hmm. Let's see if we can throw the grenade. Doubt it. Yeah, too far. Try and that shot once again. Come on. There we go. Nice little hit there. <clears throat> Moving to designated position. Help! Help! Someone help! So I think I can use the med kit on him if needed, but hopefully it'll go away for anything. Made a break down the street towards that delivery van as soon as we started taking fire. We were headed after him, but got pinned down here. Alrighty. It's a double alien action here. They're on the move. Let's see what we can do. Sorry for the noise there. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, so we can stun. Don't need that the time being. Oops. Stabilize. She's got the med kit. And. Huh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Let's see what we're going to do here. I'm on the move. A little better, better sight from there. And we'll hop up behind that for the time being. I'm going to try and get closer to this alien over here. Actually, it's a tough decision though. We don't want to get hit. 
Can't get behind there. Okay, for the time being, I'm just gonna sit sit tight. Can't really do anything else with him. We'll hunker down just because I, I want to keep these aliens alive. I think we have a good chance here of getting one of them. So. This one I'll just take out, though. I'll get to cover first. Cover's more important. <laughs> I'm on it, Commander. Same percentage of a shot. And there you go. Just a little hit there. Okay, so it's an overwatch now, so... See if we can get him as close as we can to her, and then we'll be able to heal him, hopefully. Double time. Right, so it's a little bit dangerous going there, but on the move. Let's see if we miss the hit. Come on. Right. Yes. Alrighty, so I think that's the range we want to get into. I know it's a bit dangerous, but we got we got to take the chance. Got to go for it. Ah, oh, shoot! There's another one. Hmm. Tough decision here. Do I go for? Fire. Uh, I'm gonna go and overwatch at this point. See if I can get the other guy if he moves. We'll go back and heal him. Oh shoot. There's a miss though. That's nice. Okay, here we go. Yeah. There we go. We cured the poison. He's all good. No, I definitely like that med kit now. Gotta do it. Oh, this is tough. We have to take the shot, though. Come on. Go, go, go. We're so close. You can do it. Excellent. Yes. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. There we go. Beauty. Take this shot, hopefully get him. Ah, oh, it's a miss. As fortunate as it is. Maybe Sinoka can take his long shot with the sniper rifle. Ah, oh, he's out of range. We'll just move up a bit more. Now he's got a free pop shot here, unfortunately. Oh, and he misses. Did you look at that? Now, I'm not sure if he's actually captured or not. It's kind of a weird thing. Position confirmed. At least that guy's dead. No longer a threat.
rolling out. Hello? Who's out there? I'm back here by the van. Let's help him out too. I'm a reload of him. I'm ready. Excuse me. Oh, I'm okay. Back here Sorry for being daft, guys. Got to go over there. Didn't realize that. Heading there now. Hmm. Cause I think he's good. If not, I'll be severely disappointed that we just wasted all this time. Moving to designated position. You're human. Thank God. Get me the hell out of here. We should get the VIP Okay, so time for extraction. On the double. Certainly going to Looks like we got the alien, which is a positive. We also got this guy too, which is another positive. And he can't jump up there, so we'll just put him behind this car. Double protection for him. This is pretty good. We're actually spread out nicely here, so we have everybody protecting everyone. I'll move him back just a little bit. Thin men are probably going to be popping from the sky or something like that. Seems like the, the go to thing for them to do. I'll put into Overwatch. I'll keep Sonoka there just uh, for now. I'm on it. Stay alert, Strike One. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. There we go. Good old Thin Man. Hmm. Let's see how good of a shot I have. I have seventy three percent chance. We'll just take it right here. Oh what? Let's finish this off. Come on. There we go. It's a critical hit too. <laughs> okay. Let's move Hutch up to from your suppliers. just there for now. Keep him safe as we can be. And we'll overwatch as well once again. Playing it safe. But that's not a bad thing, right? Now everybody's bunched up over there, though. Can't jump up. We'll just go back to behind this car for the moment. Maybe she can jump up now. I guess he only can jump down in that case, so. We'll move him up just so we can keep the, the ball rolling. Too. Don't need to be staying there anymore, at least it seems like. I'm grateful my friends on the council were able to put together this rescue operation. I owe you all my sincerest thanks. You have quite a bit there. Receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Oh, come Enemy on. forces are likely closing on your location. I can't do anything there, unfortunately. Location confirmed. Okay. Go behind that. Understood. Moving out. Take the headshot here. Gotta be careful, gotta get precisely kill him. There we go. Hutch is safe as well. We'll keep there just for the time being. If I make it out of here alive, 
Just in case there isn't any more Thin Men popping up. And there we go. Hutch is back to safety. You risked your lives for me. Pretty good mission. It wasn't too hard. And um, hopefully we captured that alien as well. He said prisoner of war. If I missed up on that, <laughs> I'm going to be pretty sad. But it didn't give me any other options. So I think that by stunning it, that means that we're able just to you know clean up and uh, take him back with us. So If so, then that's how you do it, guys. But I'm sorry for not being 100% on that. Like I said, first time capturing an alien myself. So... That's good though, because uh, the the uh, panic rate in China is now going to be hopefully down, uh, which will definitely help us, because we don't want uh, the panic rate rising that early in this game already in one area specifically. Okay, let's go through our promotions though. This is a really tough one to choose because snapshot's really nice, but I also like the squad sight because it really helps when you're, you know, sitting back. But I like the idea of being able to shoot and move. I think I'm going to go with that one. Okay. And what I'll try and do with many, as many of these as I can is um, I'll try and mix it up so that you guys see, you know, one of each we get. And there's some more uh, support character then. We'll give them the opposite one or whatever, um, but for the time being, we'll just try and mix it back and forth so that you know it's a little bit different between the two. I'll go with the ones I like the most though thus far. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with the shredder rocket for myself there, and we gave uh, suppression to Holly, so the two different heavies have two different uh, options there. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really and be a turning point in our research. There we go, we actually then got, it looks like, interrogate uh, sectoid. So, yeah, we got the sectoid captive there. The and uh, that's it, guys, we were able to capture that alien, so... Would you look at that? Well and, um, there we go, two engineers, we always want more engineers. Uh, panic reduction. And uh, 230, whatever money that is. <laughs> so that'll definitely come in handy. Several things there. Um, we should begin interrogating the alien subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility, but I can't say for how long. Okay, so we'll learn how to interrogate. Poor little guy. He's not too happy either. It's okay though, we're gonna be friends. Everything's gonna be alright, buddy. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Okay, so we can build something here now. Um Let's add a workshop right now, because that'll give us some more engineers to work with. I'll actually, I'll start, oops, I'll go back there, and we'll start excavating on the other spot too. Probably put a power source in, because uh, the more power the better. You know, we want to keep the power up so that we have enough for uh, any case that we really need to build something quick. So, there we go for that. And um, with that said guys, I'm going to end this uh, episode at this part, uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Let me, uh, you know, know anything that you guys want to share. Obviously, we just captured an alien, so that's a positive. We still have to interrogate. That'll be next episode, but I'll continue posting these up. Um, didn't get as much up yesterday as I wanted to. That was simply just because I actually got called in to work. So, I, you know, was trying to, like, yeah, I'm going to play XCOM all day. It's going to be sweet. Didn't really work out that way. But today, officially, I'm going to be playing XCOM all day. So hopefully, I'll have plenty of videos up for you guys to watch. Um, but, yeah, no, thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for watching the series. And I'll have more coming up in the near future. Cheers for watching.